Hey everyone, it's Mark Queens. I am in Manila and one of the best places to eat in Manila, one of the most famous places for food is Chinatown and in Manila it's called Binondo and so today I'm gonna take you on a tour of Binondo. We're gonna eat some delicious Chinese Filipino food and just walk around and explore this this vibrant and very interesting and fascinating area of Manila. On our way first this morning to eat some dumplings. Oh, hello fish balls. First place that we've come is called Dong Bay Dumpling House. This place is legendary for their dumplings and they're, I, don't, I can't think of a better way to start the morning than with a plate of dumplings and so I just ordered a plate of their, their famous um, hoi chai and also pork dumplings and you just walk in this, this restaurant and it, you can just smell the aroma of chives and pork and I was gonna eat inside but actually they're playing kind of loud music in there so I decided to just get it for takeaway and it's hot and fresh and steaming. I added some chili oil. They are still hot and steaming. Oh yes, fresh dumplings are hard to beat. Oh, and I already added a little bit of chili oil. Um, and then it's also served with, I think it's, it's probably, I think it's vinegar. Usually these little sauce bags, one of the best methods to open them is to bite the, the tail. So that you get a little bit, mmm. Oh, that was like a some some air was released that it's very fragrant and garlicky. All right. Oh, perfect. I think this is I think this is if I could taste those fumes all right. I think this is vinegar and maybe soy sauce and garlic. Okay, perfect. I'm going right for that top dumpling right there. Oh, that's so fresh and so good and so juicy. The wrapper has a little bit of a gummy texture to it, but what I like is that it's not too thick and it's not too thin. It's right at that medium thickness. Uh, so you can taste your eating noodle, but at the same time, it's not overly starchy. And then the inside just kind of explodes with that juice, that pork, that those chives. You want to soak up as much sauce as you can. These are the type of dumplings you could eat a whole plate just in, in seconds without even knowing it, without, without even thinking about it. They're so good. And as much as I'd love to go have another plate, I think I'm gonna, gonna pace myself today for this food tour. Something interesting about Binondo that I really wanted to share with you is that it is one of the oldest, if not the oldest, established Chinatowns in the world. And it dates back to 1594 when the Spaniards set this area apart as an area for Chinese to settle, which is across the river, the Pasig River from Intramuros, which is the Spanish area of colonial rule in Manila in the Philippines. We've only been walking around for a little bit, but Micah is getting hungry. So we decided to stop off and eat lunch, an early lunch. This is a whole strip of restaurants, which is right along the the canal. They have all sorts of Chinese food, Chinese Filipino food here. You can order seafood, you can order lots of stir-fried dishes, and then I was watching him as he cooks, and he is a he is a, a master at the wok, igniting the oil and the sauces, and then just putting all the dishes together. I ordered a couple of different dishes. One of the things that I really wanted to try here is their fried frog legs. So I got the fried frog legs. They're also known for their butter chicken, which I have no idea. The, the only butter chicken I know of is Indian style butter chicken. So this is a, gonna be a, a first for me. And then also got a, a dish of stir fried vegetables with seafood. And then also it's squid, which is stuffed with, I think it's stuffed with chives. So let's start with the fried frog legs since they are sitting right before me. Here's a nice leg down here and it is, it is breaded, um, coated, and then deep fried. Going in just like a drumstick. Oh, the bone came. The bone came off with that pole. Oh wow, that's pretty salty. Very salty and quite oily, but really, really crispy. And it has that crispiness that sort of tastes like maybe cornstarch rather than just flour. 
Um, it ha sort of has a, a grainy crispiness to it. Okay, next up, I'm gonna try the stuffed squid. And you just check out this cross section. It's just filled with, oh, that sauce is gooey. That tastes almost exactly how it looks. You've got the, the tender yet slightly rubbery squid. And then, yeah, those are definitely chives. They have a chewy texture to them and really, really fragrant and really juicy. One of their specialties here is the butter chicken. And, oh, is that butter on the bottom there? There's a little pool of, of something on the bottom there. And I can see garlic and that must be, that must be the butter. Let me go in for a little bit more of that butter sauce. If I'm gonna eat butter chicken, I, I don't wanna skimp on that sauce. Oh yeah, that looks pretty buttery. And that appears to be garlic as well. All right. Yeah. That is extremely buttery. That's fried chicken soaked in butter. Let's just say that if you love butter, you're gonna love this dish. And then final dish is the mixed vegetables with seafood. There's shrimp in here. There are, there might be some, or maybe it's mostly, it's mostly shrimp, but there might be some squid in here. Yeah, the little pieces of squid as well. That's good and simple. Um, not too salty, actually. The vegetables are not too salty. Uh, their style of cooking is very, very saucy. So you, it's just almost like a, it's almost like a soup of sauce. I'm gonna grab another piece of frog, and this time I'll dip it into this tomato or maybe chili sauce. Oh, I can eat that whole piece despite there being bones in it. That's like a sweet and sour sauce. That does go well together because it kind of cuts the the saltiness of the frog. The food was okay. I didn't really like the fried dishes that much as they were pretty oily and heavy on the breading and the ingredients didn't taste all that fresh, but it was uh, a nice enough place to sit. I like the, the breezy environment under the tree. We're now off to walk around and explore more of Binondo, hopefully get some snacks. And actually, I would just like to say that Binondo is such a, it's such a nice place to explore. It's actually very charming and it has a, oh, I gotta move. Oh, that's a lot of mung bean noodles. Uh, but it's a, it's it's very charming. It has a really friendly, nice feel to it. And it's actually quite, at least at this time that we're here, it's actually quite calm, not too busy, and it's quite clean as well. Uh, just the normal kind of, I think. Came in here mostly to get their signature hopia. Hopia. Which one is the, the signature one? Okay, the hopia owit. All right, this is what I'm getting right here with mung bean pastry. Actually, Ying bought quite a few snacks, but I just went straight for their their um, their classic mung bean hopia, and it is heavy. You can feel you can feel how solid that is wrapped in paper. You can lift weights with this mung bean pastry. And grab a, oh, it's cut into pieces already, okay. Here we go, they're like in the little little hockey pucks. I almost took a bite, I barely noticed the little wax paper on the bottom, which I'm assuming you don't eat. <laughs> Let me pull off that wax paper. It's a little bit dry and very dense. Mm. Oh, it's good though. The mashed up mung beans on the inside, which are are sweet and starchy. It's kind of like a very heavy cookie. It kind of has that texture, the kind of sticky texture, where it's kind of like peanut butter, where it kind of sticks to the roof of your mouth a little bit. It's kind of hard to talk. It's so nice to see you. Oh man. I'm a fan of your channel. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Thank you. Are you from, you're from Manila? Yes, from, I am from Manila. From, uh, Manila. from Miranda. We were just eating that pastry at Holland and met up with Nathan. Hello. What's up, Nathan? Hi. And you live in Binondo? I live right over there. Cool, yeah. cool. And so he is accompanying us 
to our next place to eat. Mm -hmm. This place is called New uh, New Poheng. New Poheng. Mm -hmm. And she, these are actually, they actually are like are the size of mini burritos. They're pretty <laughs> big. There's a, a number of different things in here she added. I saw lettuce. Mm -hmm. I saw um, peanut, is it peanut, peanut powder? Peanut powder. Peanut, peanut powder. powder. What was the, what was the darker powder? Uh, oh, that is seaweed actually. Mm. Seaweed. Yeah. Seaweed. Okay, seaweed, mm. like dried seaweed dried powder. Seaweed. Mm. Okay. Mm. And then the main vegetable mixture is cabbage and bean curd and carrots. Cabbage and bean curd and carrots. Uh -huh. Okay. And so then they wrapped it up into this. It's all vegetarian as well. Yes. So it's all vegetarian. It is. It's a pretty good size. Oh, let's take a look at the cross section. Oh wow! Look at all those vegetables. <laughs> all right, Nathan, squeeze some sauce on. Oh, it's very like thick. Yeah. It's a little sweet, right? A little bit more. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Fine. The sauce is. It almost has like a consistency of honey. <laughs> Cheers, Cheers, man. Mm. 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 <laughs> oh yeah. Really just packed full of vegetables. It has that that very contrast of salty to sweet to it. There uh, I think the peanut powder is a little bit sweet. Yes, yes. And then also That's the sauce. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it tastes like peanut butter, like like a dry crumbly peanut butter. And then also the sauce is sweet. But then the vegetable mixture is more on the salty side. Oh, the first one here. The Chinese sauce, no? uh, This is a Chinese type of fresh spring roll, and they have it all across Southeast Asia. I've had it in Singapore and Thailand, Paul Pia. But I have to say that this is one of the, the best versions that I've ever had. It uh, The ingredients, the balance of flavor, really, really nice. Next up, we are walking along with Nathan and his fiance, and I think we're gonna go get some fried uh, buns. Fried chow pao. Chow pao. Yeah. This place has no name, so luckily, <laughs> luckily Nathan um, escorted us here, and they have a lot of Chinese snacks and different. Um, Different little desserts and and shumai and different things, but we came here mainly for the the bowser. And you can actually just feel in that bag how how kind of fluffy and how soft the the bun is. Mm. Oh, that's awesomely good. Oh, that is delicious. The bread is so pillowy so airy and pillowy. And then it has some water chestnuts in there. I can taste the, the crunchiness of the water chestnuts. There's some green onions in there. It has a sesame flavor and a black pepper flavor as well. Even though it looks kind of big, it's so fluffy that you could eat the whole thing in a couple bites. And I love that, that layer between meat and bread where it's kind of gooey and has just like absorbed all of the flavor. One of the most legendary or maybe infamous dishes that you have to eat when you come to Binondo. Well, you don't, you don't really have to eat it. It's called soup number five. We got two different soups. Yep. Um, one of them is black chicken soup, mm -hmm. and that is not the soup number five. This one is the soup number five, but the black chicken soup also looks awesome and smells delicious. This is the, the legendary soup number five, which is a, a cow or it's a bull? Bull. Okay, bull penis, penis. and bull testicles, testicles and that whole kind of region <laughs> chopped up into bite-sized pieces and made into a soup. So this is this is very famous in Binondo yep. to eat. Yeah. All right. And can you get it in other parts of Manila as well, or is it mostly um, in Binondo? 
I, I also had it in, in Birondo. Okay. So I'm not sure if it's uh, available some, somewhere there's else. There's some uh, ginger, ginger in there. Yeah. There are some goji, goji, berry, goji yeah. berries. And it has... Actually, let me, I'm not sure which one. It smells very... Uh, like cinnamon, it has a cinnamon aroma to it and a very Chinese herbal aroma Chinese to herbal. it. Yes, yes. <laughs> wow, it's yeah. really, really good. Oh, it's really, really good. It's like, it tastes like concentrated herbs. Mm -hmm. It kind of tastes like a like a Chinese braised, mm, braised soup. Uh, the braised flavor. And then should we go in for, that's, that's for, some, for some parts next? <laughs> Okay, let's actually take it right off that yep. spoon. And so you can eat that whole thing, right? There's yes. no there's no bones or anything in it. Yeah. All right. Oh wow, those are kind of slippery. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> All right, cheers. Cheers. Man. Mm -hmm. It's really really good. Yeah, actually, the texture is exactly like tendon. Mm -hmm. Tendon, yeah. It's gelatinous. It's, but at the same time, it's not chewy. It's not. No, it's not chewy. It's, it's like, kind of like gummy. Mm -hmm. The parts are good, but that broth, mm -hmm. that broth is yeah. insane. Yeah. It's so flavorful. You can just taste how many, how it's just packed with herbs. Mm -hmm. Let's go on to the the black chicken soup next. Going for that broth. Oh, is this a a half? Wow, that's a. So it's just a tiny chicken. Yep, it is. It's, like a, it's almost like the size of a quail. Mm -hmm. Look at that. It's black. <laughs> and it is black. <laughs> All right, let's taste the broth. And and also, a, a black chicken is supposed to be very healthy, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. It almost tastes yeah. like caramel when you, when yeah. you have the aftertaste. Do you know what that could be? I'm not sure what that, what that is. Okay. <laughs> But a black chicken is supposed to be like a cure-all mm -hmm. in Chinese, in Chinese yeah. culture, right? Cure-all for anything. <laughs> Here you go, man. Actually, let's just go in with our fingers. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, that's like... That's really creamy. Mm. It's incredibly mm. delicious. It's so tender. No, it's been, probably been boiled for so long that it just... Mm -hmm. It just slips off the bone. Look how clean that bone came off with the cartilage and all. Oh, there's, you can eat the cartilage and all. It's very tender, very tender. Do you think the black chicken actually has a different flavor? Flavor, I guess? A little, little bit. Yeah, yeah. It's a little bit of a different flavor. Slightly but, gamey. Mm. Slightly gamier. Mm. But you can definitely taste that it is chicken though. Mm. It, it kind of has a, the taste of a quail, sort of. Or a sort pigeon. Of. Yeah, or yeah, a pigeon. Yeah. I'm gonna go in for another bite of the, the gelatin -y <laughs> goodness. <Yeah. laughs> it's really good. I'm actually hugely impressed by soup number five. Of everything that I've eaten so far on this Binondo Manila food tour, soup number five, this is by far my favorite dish so far. It's so good, it's so herbal. <laughs> my last piece right here. That's one of the crunchy pieces. Oh yeah? <laughs> you get so many te different textures. Some parts are very gelatinous yeah, and soft some, all the way through, just mm -hmm. like tendon. But then some parts are like crunchy, like... What kind of crunch is that? Like, you know like when you eat a gizzard? Yeah, it has the same like gizzard, kind of crunch, yeah, that kind of like... Kind of a weird crunch. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Don't let the ingredients of soup number five throw you off. It's truly a, a winner of a soup. I, I thoroughly enjoyed that. And I'm feeling very strong and very healthy after eating that as well. Okay, this is just a really small little restaurant on the corner. And what's the name of this place? 899. 899. 899. What are we gonna eat here, Nathan? Uh, pork tongue. Pork tongue. And large and small intestine. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and it's braised? It's braised. 
Oh, oh just, just to warm the stomach. Cool. Yeah. Oh, nice. That tongue, so it's it's braised, it's sitting at the front, and then you order it, and then yeah. they just slice it into mm -hmm. the bite sized pieces. What's yeah, yeah, yeah. in the sauce? It's a um, soy sauce, vinegar, black vinegar, and garlic. Oh, okay. It looks amazing. All right, let's go in for a. Look at this, look at how meaty and how beautiful that tongue is, dude. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is amazing. Mm -hmm. Oh, tongue is just such a wonderful. Is it a meat? Yeah, it's a meat. Yeah. Um, it's tender, but it's not not overly tender. But it has a little bit of texture to it. Mm -hmm. It's it's not like stringy or anything like yeah. that. It just yeah. it doesn't have any kind of a nothing bizarre about eating no, tongue at all. No. It just tastes like really the best of yeah. the best of meat. Yeah. Really tender, fleshy. It's yeah. It's a nice salty, mm -hmm. salty braised mm -hmm. flavor they have on it, and then with that, that Sauce. vinegar, yeah. garlic sauce. Yeah. Oh wow! <laughs> That's like that is a world class snack right there. Oh, and here comes the. <laughs> These are the large intestines. Large intestines and small intestines. Mm -hmm. They look like little. Little shoots, and <laughs> and yeah, you can definitely tell the difference between the two. Mm. These ones are much smaller yep. in in size. Yep. Let's start with the small ones. Small ones, small intestines. Yeah. These are my favorite. You get that little shoot, yeah. mm -hmm. that little hose. You want to get some good sauce on this. How's that? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. Hmm? They're not even. Yeah, they're not even like not even rubbery though. They're very tender. Yeah, yeah. Very very tender. Very, very kind of smooth. Gotta have more. <laughs> can't stop. <Yeah. laughs> That's something you can't stop. You yeah. <laughs> just want to keep on eating. Mm. And they're they're well cleaned as well. Yeah. Yep. So you don't have any kind of a foul taste mm -hmm. at all. They're just mm -hmm. they're very well cleaned. Look at that. That's almost like a yeah. That's you can actually see through the the hole in these ones. <laughs> okay. Let's dip that. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Mm. That's also delicious. It's it has a totally different texture. While the, the small intestines are more of a a little rubbery, the big intestines are more kind of creamy, creamy yeah. and fattier. Mm -hmm. It's a little fattier. fattier. Micah, we finished off all of those intestines and that tongue. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. That was very good. <laughs> Thank you. After finishing all that food on that Binondo Filipino Chinese food tour, we just came back to, this is a, an apartment that Ying and I are renting here in Manila. That was an amazing food tour and it was great to, it was actually completely random. Ying and I went to Binondo this morning. I just had some a list of restaurants and places that I wanted to go and we were just going to kind of walk around and, ex and explore and find things on our own. But luckily we bumped into Nathan just completely by chance. And not only is he from Manila, but he's from right in Binondo. So he knows all of the... he knows everywhere in Binondo. So he took us to some special spots that he likes. Uh, and I have to admit, soup number five was was the best thing of the whole day. That was my favorite food of the whole day. So when you're in Manila, don't forget and don't miss taking a food tour in Binondo and it's a great place to visit. Thank you all very much for watching this food tour video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And also I'd love to hear from you in the comments section below. And also, if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe now for lots more food and travel videos. And I will see you on the next video.